Hello everybody and welcome back to John's little channel here while we're in purgatory waiting for Reddit aliens to hopefully return. So today, earlier I had reached out to some people subscribing here asking questions and I was going to do an AMA. So that's the topic for today. Ask me anything. Get to know John a little bit. And we'll start with our first question right after this. Thanks for being here, guys. All right, guys, here comes our first question. I'm going to look at the screen to read it. So that way I give the person, you know, their due and I'll print it up here for you guys as well. So um, sorry if I'm looking away for a second, but this is from Char uh, via Instagram. Thanks for reaching out, dude. Uh, hey, man, for your AMA, I would really like to know if you've ever had any scary human encounters in the woods. And my name's Char. Blessed if you can answer that, John. Happy New Year, bro. Thank you very much. First of all, Char. So I've been racking my brain for this and I got to be honest with you, I, I really haven't. Um, done a lot of camping, a lot of hiking, and I, maybe I just picked the right days. I read some really crazy stories on the page and I've never really had an experience like that personally. Probably the scariest thing I guess I could say is I was finishing a long run one day at a park that I run in a lot and I ran into a long ago X in the parking lot. That was pretty scary. And I'm not saying that to be funny or dramatic. I was like, Oh, maybe jump. I hadn't seen her in 10 years. Anyway, uh, that's about it. So thank you for asking, and we'll get on to the next one. All right, up next we have Crumb Bum Shorts. All right, so I'm going to read it. There's a couple of questions, so bear with me for a moment. Um, it was probably already posted elsewhere, but have you had any unexplained encounters of your own? Also, how the F do you keep your hair so shiny? Okay, that's the first part of this question. Uh, creepy encounters, again, thought about it again. Not particularly. I've had some feelings of ill ease, but nothing paranormal or anywhere near the stuff that I've read for you guys here. And my hair, it's the lighting, dude. I mean, when it looks really shiny, it's probably because I haven't washed it in a couple of days. That's the truth. All right, let's get to your other questions. Uh, still crumb bum, crumb bum shorts. I uh, have another question. Been wondering for two years, and this is a good one, actually. Uh, not that your other ones weren't. Do you record every single day or get the week's videos done in one sitting? Good question. So it depends. Uh, generally record almost every day. We'll just do the file for the morning or the night before and just do it then. Occasionally, I may be out of town or our partners may be out of town and they'll send me files and I'll read anywhere from four to 12 days worth of files in a couple of days time. So takes. Uh, we'll get to another question about that later. So there's your questions. Thank you again for reaching out and we'll move to the next one next. All right, we got a multi-part question coming up here from YCruise29. All right, so let's read it. One sec. Uh, hey, John, uh, thanks, because we all have questions, I'm sure. Here are mine. How long does it take you to record a video? Any bloopers you can share? Also, is it a group of y'all working, Reddit aliens, or just you? Lastly, have you ever done any voiceover work before? Thanks for the content. Okay, let's go. How long does it take me to record? On average, now with the little short videos too, I would say about anywhere 30 to 45 minutes, depending on length of the file. Uh, there's question number one. Do I have bloopers? Yeah, I have a ton of bloopers. I put a couple up here and there. Um, we used to add them in and there are some really funny ones. If we get all the videos back, I'll try to link to one that I thought was my favorite outtake that I've ever done in two and a half years. I just lost it. About a guy pooping his pants. And... Let's see. Oh, is there a group of us? Uh, it's me here in America and two of our partners are working in another country uh, to actually produce. They send me the files. I read them and do the videos. I send those to them and then they make the magic happen. So I'm just I'm just a worker bee. Uh, any voice of a work before? I actually just recorded my first audiobook for a small company. Uh, it's like softcore adult romance novel. I'll send the link if you guys are curious someday one second it's not up yet but it should be up uh, mid-january <clears throat> thank you very much up to the next one okay we have jorge alanis with a question coming up let's do it okay jorge uh hello john thanks a lot you're welcome uh what do you do for a living how can you have time to upload videos so frequently what are you most passionate about those are good questions i didn't see the last one so i'm going to think of the fly uh, what do I do for a living? I do a few things. I currently work. I'm a personal trainer at a big gym here. Uh, I, how do we upload them so frequently? 
it's not just me. Uh, again, I do the audio files anywhere between 3 and 9 a.m. here. Uh, I send them over to them, and then they produce it with the Word file. So uh, we just do it. Good teamwork. And what am I most passionate about? Easy to say my children. I love trail running. Um, that's it being a dad. It's pretty simple, right? It's what drives me. So great questions. Thank you. Next. Okay, we've got a question here and a little bit of a confession. So let's do this one. This is from Boomy R23. He asked, what got you into Reddit? Here's the truth. Today's January 4th, 2023. I created a Reddit account on January 3rd, 2023. I literally made an account yesterday. I never really been on Reddit before. Uh, I guess I'm too old for it, but uh, I have one now. So what got me into it? We'll talk about that soon with this actual channel. Um, but I'm not a big Redditor and I, and I've, like I said, I've really never been on it except maybe like a random link and it says open the app, but I never had the app until yesterday when I did the confessions video. Good question. Thank you. Okay. We've got a funny one here. Uh, this is from the Regius 13. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Uh, John, why do you dislike Ohio so much? All right. Well, the easy answer would be like, have you been there? But the truth is, it's more like a meme type thing. I've met friends from Ohio that are just lovely people. Not people from Southern Ohio, but regular Ohio, uh, not too bad. I just give them flack. Same thing I do for Florida. Uh, same thing I do for Long Island, honestly, because I live here. So you can you can crap on where you live, I guess. Um, but good question. I really don't have much against Ohio, to be honest. It's at this point like a running gag, kind of like the Ouija board thing. Good question. Okay, this might be definitely one of my favorite questions of the night because this is some Reddit aliens history right here. Uh, this is from Young Banshee. He said, what made you want to start making videos? So here, you want to know a secret? Here's how it happened. It was during COVID. It was May of 2020. I was listening to the channel, uh, just the text-to-speech channel to kind of relax at night. Obviously, it was a time, you know, everyone was going crazy, right? So this channel was cool and, and the robot voice was, was pretty cool. And then I remember it was a Monday, I saw a post and I didn't at this point realize that YouTube had posts, that it was just videos of the channel creators looking for a human narrator. And there was like 75 comments and I missed it because he posted on Friday and it's Monday. I'm like, well, I'm never going to, that's over. But I just commented, I said, listen, I'm not trying to say anything. Like, I think I'm your guy. And I, I did reach out to him on Discord. And which I had never been on before. I had to make a Discord account to do that. And he sent me a little three minute script and the, the video is on my page. It's got like a vase in it. It's a three minute video. That was my audition for Reddit Aliens. That was into my phone. I had no microphone. I had nothing. I used the music on my tablet that they use in the background sometimes. And I just read it. And he wrote me back like an hour later. He's like, okay, read this file. I read it. The rest is history. I think that was May 24th, 2020. And until they took the channel down, been reading every day since. That's a great question. Now you know more about the history of Reddit Aliens and how I came uh, to be the reader. But I was a listener, just like all of us. So moving on. Great question. Okay, coming up next, we've got Isabel Moran, three-parter, but the same general topic. Love it. Uh, hey, John, have you ever served in the military? If yes, for what branch and how long? What was it like for you? Uh, yes, I was in the military, as most of you know by now. Uh, I was in the United States Marine Corps for four years, and I was in active duty infantry, and I was also a Marine security guard for two years, and a B billet, they call there, uh, did that. What was it like for me? First year was, was rough um, in the sense that I had no idea what the military was like. There was no family history besides my grandfather, like most people's grandfathers were in World War II, um, so I didn't really know anything about it. And... Once I got into it, it turned out to be four of the best years of my life. And if my son asked me if he wanted, if he said, dad, I want to be a Marine, of course I would let him. I would probably want to gear him more toward the Air Force or the Navy, learn a good trade or a skill. Uh, but there's a lot of pride uh, with fellow Marines, so I wouldn't begrudge him that. But uh, yeah, loved it. Great experience. Great question. Thanks. Pixie Trick and Bebe uh, didn't have questions, but they just kind of said, Bebe said, hi, John, thanks for trying to entertain us. 
doing my best. And Pixie Six said, hey, John, I don't have any questions and I'm not a very active commenter in general, but I wanted to take the opportunity to say thank you as well for being here. Very cute. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you guys are great. I think we got one more question coming up. Hold on. All right, a good one here coming up from number one Taco or number one Taco. Let's see. The only question I've got is, do you have any fun stories from your time in the military? If so, please regale us with a few of your favorites. Yes, I have a lot of fun stories. I have a lot of sad stories. I have a lot of cool stories. I have a lot of scary stories. Um, most of them I can't share here for a lot of reasons, but one I can tell you that's fun. All right, here we go. So I was at a mountain warfare training center in South Korea, Poyang, South Korea. I probably said that terribly wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, but we were there and we're doing a ropes course where we were going to do an Australian rappel, which is where you jump forward. We're suspended about 150 feet up in the air. Um, and the, the security and safety of this particular military base was lacking. We'll say that. It's all South Korean Marines. They didn't speak English. I didn't speak Korean besides hello. And my captain asked me to go first because I was a recently minted sergeant. And so I climb up this rope and the thing is shaking in the wind. And it, listen, I'm fine with stuff. Heights don't bother me that much, to be honest. But this is like, the rope is frayed. And I'm like, I'm jumping face first. We never jump Australian style in the American military, unless I'm maybe special forces guys. But we always did normal rappel backwards. So I never Australian rappelled in my life. And we're about to do it. And my safety guys don't speak any English. So I grab this rope and I, I wrap it around my carabiner. And you know, you have to open your hand and then you close it up against your chest to break in an Australian rappel. And I say to the guy, I'm like, is, is this safe? And he was like, USA. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I just jump. And there's like 230 Marines down there all giving me shit. You know, like, oh, come on, John, you got to do it. And, uh, and I just jumped and here I am. So obviously it worked out. And the bottom, instead of like mats, it was just a sand berm. I would have been street grease if... I missed that jump, but it was fun. It probably wasn't as funny as I made it sound, but the language barrier really did make it funny. And uh, yeah, so there's one. Okay, last one right here. Uh, we've got from Big Al Einstein. Uh, what's your scary story? If Reddit aliens can't be recovered, please continue on this channel. Well, there will always be some form of Reddit aliens. Uh, we do have a contingency plan, uh, but hopefully we don't have to go to that. Uh, scary story. Uh, I'll be quick. I could say that again, just without thinking too much, my son was to be born under normal circumstances and then he stopped progressing uh, and uh, it got pretty dicey. And then his fetal heart rate dropped to 20 and they had to do an emergency C-section. And that was about seven or eight to 10 minutes of just sheer terror uh, for me. And that's real life stuff. So not to, not to make it heavy, obviously everything turned out great. Um, and I'm thankful for those doctors and nurses that, uh, you know, essentially saved my son's life and possibly their mom's life. Um, so that was scary. Other than that, plenty of stuff like military stuff, bad helicopter rides, things like that. But, uh, you know, that's it. Talk to you guys soon. All right, we'll put a bow on this one for today. Um, but I will say that if you do submit a question after I recorded this, it's uh, like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I'll check a look in the morning, maybe do some little shorts in the meantime. Again, fingers crossed, we're hoping to have Reddit Aliens back as soon as tomorrow, maybe two days. So we will keep you posted. I'll update you guys again tomorrow. Thank you again for listening. I hope some of this answered some questions. And again, feel free to comment more. But as always, thank you so much for being here. Have a great night, everyone.